What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking the sea -Doo back out. I'm pretty sure I got everything hooked up, triple checked everything, double checked all the hose clamps, had it running on the hose. Seems to be running good. Put in a new exhaust pipe because the resonator delete that I did got melted from how hot everything was getting. So did a bunch of uh, vacuum lines. Those all got melted. But anyways, let's go to the water. Let's get it in. I am going by myself today, so we'll see what happens. Anyways, I'll catch you guys at the water. All right, so we're at the ramp now. Got everything undone, got the rope up, got my vest ready. So it's a little bit chillier today, hence why I'm in a hoodie and a little bit windier. So we just gotta drop in the water, make sure our drain plugs are nice and tight, which they are. I checked everything again in here. So let's go drop her in the water and uh, I'm gonna do the thing where I take the seat off, leave it on the pier for now, idle around, check everything, and then go uh, run it, and then come back, throw the seat back on, and we'll see how it goes. So let's go put it in the water. little bit of water in there but I can't tell if it's from previous or now because it was in there as soon as I put it in there so I don't know we're about to see because that's not a lot of water and it doesn't seem to get be getting any more Okay, well it does look like it's coming from somewhere. I just don't know where yet. Well, good news and bad news. Good news, I'm out on the water today and it's a beautiful, hold on, we're back. And it's a beautiful day. Little overcast, you know, not too bad. Little breeze rolling through, you know, beautiful day. Rather be here than anywhere else. Well, okay, actually there are other places I'd rather be. Anyways, bad news, still having a leak. But, 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 I found it, which means we can fix it, and this should be the only leak left to fix on this jet ski before really taking it out. Now, I didn't run on the water, I didn't go idle it around, I just left it here at the dock with me, I've moved it back since so I could tie it off really well. So, unfortunately, we are gonna have to take it out of the water so we can fix this leak, and then wait about 24, 48 hours for everything to cure. But let me show you or try to show you where this leak is coming from without falling in and shit. Jesus. This is a lot easier to do. So you can see all the water that's in here already. All this. But let's see if I can show you guys. Can you see the there it is. That's the speedo wire. If you look careful enough. There's a little bit of water running out of it. Let's see if I can get a better angle with the light. There we go. I kind of have the jet ski leaning to the little starboard side. Not port, starboard. The right side of the jet ski. I'm facing the back end. So my current left, starboard. Anyways, that's, that's another leak. Also, is this how you property properly ride a jet ski no it is not Ooh. 
So anyways, yeah, and there's a bunch of water here because as I'm moving it around, the water keeps coming in. Anyways, so the water's not coming from that hose because I took off the intake hose, checked it, put it back on, tied down the hose clamp, felt around it, didn't feel any water, but then I fired it back up and then I looked to the back wall and all of a sudden I saw a steady stream of water coming out. So when it's just sitting here, it's not flowing in as much, but once it starts idling and it's vibrating, the hole that's there is opening up bigger and letting in more water. So then the stream gets bigger. So that's why all this water is still pulling up in here. Now there might be another leak back there or another leak somewhere else, but the smallest amount of water can pull up very quickly. So I think that's what it is. We're gonna have to reseal up the hole for the speedo wire and double check everything else back there. I'm probably gonna try and seal around those bolts some more and anything else that goes through the back hall. But for now, is what it is. Gonna have to take the jet ski back out of the water, go do that stuff. And that's not something I would have known at home either because at home, I can't, I don't have a pool to set this in. I mean, I could probably build one I keep working on these things, but this is all right. I come out here, throw it in the water, I see it. But now I know there's that leak. I know I can fix it. So let's go home and uh, fix that leak and maybe take this back out this week sometime. All right, catch you guys at home. Why, 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 why? All right, so we're back home now. It's a little bit later on, and I don't know if this is, let me try and get light on here. Right there, you can see where the wire is going in. And thanks to my father, he redid all this and got it back sealed up. You can see that it was crimped right here, kind of, the wire was. So the wire was already crimped on this seal here for the through haul, and he redid it. Now, it, and then we sprayed it with the hose. Seems like water was not coming in. I even threw a little black silicone around the bolt heads here before the drive or the impeller goes back on. So I'm gonna throw this back on here, get it all put on, and I know that silicone's still sort of drying and I probably shouldn't take it out, but I kinda wanna go throw it in the water today to uh, see as long, see at least if that wire is leaking. Cause the bolts, they weren't leaking. I just did the silicone to be safe. So let me throw the drive on and maybe we'll go take it tonight. Cause it's like 4.30. So should still have some daylight to go throw it in the water. See if anything else is leaking and then do some uh, runs on it. So let me tie in all this up. Basically all this is down here is it's threaded so this is threaded onto this which has two male ends that threads onto this and threads into the hull and then it's just sealed here and there's an o-ring up here so anyways let me go put all this together and next time you're going to see me is going to be on the water either shortly or maybe tomorrow we'll see i probably should wait till tomorrow but oh well okay so i just put it back in the water and sitting here and it's just flowing in again from the same spot from the wire so i think i'm just gonna have to put a bunch of silicone in that opening from around the wire and just call it a day so that's what we're gonna go do and i guess we're gonna take it out tomorrow is what it is oh well see you guys in the next day So as you saw there, I ran it for about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, maybe about 35 minutes by the time I started the chrono on the dashboard there. But otherwise, the leak that was coming from the back of the hall, I just filled out with silicone last night, black silicone, and it is sealed up. It's not leaking from there anymore. And it, I can't tell if there's exhaust coming from inside here or if it's just funneling back in with how the wind is since I'm in like a little cove here but I'm gonna double check the bolts on the manifold and make sure no exhaust is leaking through there, tying them up or back them off, tying them up again, 
do my best with that. Otherwise, I think the ski is ready to go on Lake Michigan. I'm not running it today on the river just because I thought I would be all right taking it by myself, running it up and down the river. However, even though everything has ran good, I don't see water inside the hull. I just, I think I'm gonna outright admit it and say I do not feel comfortable going by myself again. I would like someone else here with me, so I'll probably come back out with my buddy, but we might, we'll probably go on like Michigan or here, I don't know, depending on our schedules. Otherwise, that's it for this video. The sea -Doo should be ready to go now, and the next video is gonna just be us riding, having fun, and enjoying our lives, because I am sick and tired of working on this thing. So next video should be having fun with it, and then we'll see what happens because I'm getting the itch to get another jet ski, get rid of this one, and maybe get rid of the Yamaha, because some dude just showed up here with a GP1800, like a 2019 model, and or 2020 model, supercharged. Yeah, <laughs> one day, but first we gotta get rid of this thing. I don't know, I'm happy. I'm, it's, it's working good for what I can see right now. Everything seems to be running great. So next time you'll see this, we'll just be having fun. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this helped you guys with anything you're having issues with. If not, hopefully you just got some entertainment out of it. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a dislike, but let me know what I can proof on for next video. And as always, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.